we hold these truths to be self-evident. That all men are created equal. That they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights. That among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The truth is people are pleasure seekers and we enjoy getting intoxicated. If you look at everything that people become addicted to, whether it's spending or gambling or cigarettes or coffee or uh, uh, sexuality, there's one fundamental process. It makes them feel better. Uh, we don't get addicted to celery. So many people are turned off by uh, the traditional 12-step programs because they're, 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 they, they, they ask so much of the individual. The 12-step approach in the United States is used like a hammer and tongue. You're brought in and you are told that you're an alcoholic, that you must acknowledge that you're an alcoholic, that there is one way to go through this process, and if you object in any way, you're accused of denying traditional addiction community uh, anything other than abstinence AA and the party line is seen as very threatening and since I'm a, uh, a sponsor of moderation management which is a alternative self-help group where abstinence isn't the goal this is really very uh, heretical and very uh, un not well accepted within the traditional community the experience of not only addiction but of overcoming addiction is an ordinary part of life uh, you don't have to go beyond the dinner table to find out people who've quit the most severe and major and life-threatening addictions on their own. Um, this whole medicalization and magicization and magic bullet approach to addiction belies the fact that addiction is an ordinary part of experience that we've all seen, we've all dealt with, and many, many people have overcome on their own.